Welcome to South East Today, I'm Bryony McKenzie. Good evening. The bitter power struggle for control of the Labour Party in Brighton and Hove has escalated tonight, with the man elected chairman just a few months ago expelled from the party altogether and a string of other activists suspended. Mark Sandell, the high-profile supporter of Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, was elected in Brighton this summer. All that coming up, but first the news from Bryony McKenzie. Thank you, Sophie. Good morning. The United States is putting pressure on Hong Kong to extradite the former intelligence agent Edward Snowden. Now, the Independent uh, also going on the line of, uh, similar to David Cameron's um, announcement tomorrow, talking about internet and their safety on the internet. And the, day, and the Sunday Express, as always, can be relied on. It's got the royal birth. Uh, no, hang on a minute. Not quite there yet. <laughs> royal baby. The truth. It says the Queen may not see new arrival for two months. This story's got us a bit puzzled, but uh, she's in Sandringham, which is in Norfolk. Baby Lardbull to be born down in the London area somewhere. Mm, so why can't she visit? I don't know. Better read the Sunday Express, I suppose, to find out. Maybe there's no transport to get there. Of course, the yeah, transport no problems to get The trains are so crowded, the roads are busy. Of course. Welcome to Russia Today with me, Bryony Mansfield, and top stories this hour. Court hearings into the murder of a Peruvian student are to resume in Voronezh on Monday. This is one in a series of events, and now youth are planning to hold an anti-fascism rally in the city today. Do we know any more details about the rally? Hello, I'm Bryony McKenzie. Here in the southeast, a man's been sentenced in America to 45 years in prison for killing a man from Tunbridge Wells. Paul Winter was shot in front of his wife and twins in Miami four years ago by Cristobal Palacio. And these were the scenes in Ramsgate this morning after live exports of sheep were resumed. The council had put a temporary ban in place, but that was overturned by the High Court on Tuesday. Tomorrow's weather, dry and overcast, damper later and it's looking a little bit better on Sunday. Hello, I'm Bryony McKenzie. Here in the South East, the Archbishop of Canterbury says he's got serious concerns about child protection failures within the Church of England in Sussex. It follows the announcement that the Bishop of Lewis will step down at the end of the month. And the chairman of Kent's Green Party has been called a Nazi online. Steve Uncles from the English Democrat Party, who made the remarks, is standing in the Kent Police Commissioner elections in November. Tomorrow's weather, another wet and breezy day, with little chance of any sunshine. Hi, I'm Bryony McKenzie. Here in the South East, Gatwick bosses reveal detailed plans for a second runway after 2019. They say it's the best option to solve capacity problems around London. Local campaigners say it'll be a blight that will affect millions. And former Gurkha, Tychesh Flamasha, was left with a knife embedded in his arm when he was mugged in Maidstone. Today, 38-year-old Jamie Hall was remanded in custody until December. Bryony McKenzie joins us live from Brighton. Um, Bryony, what else have the police been saying about their investigation today? Well, Rob, they'll begin excavating the garden here of Marine Parade later this week. And they've also, today, this afternoon, began searching the ground and cellar areas of another property in Port Slade. Peter Tobin lived at various properties in Brighton from the mid-1970s onwards. But the police have told me today that they have specific information that warrants the excavation of particularly these two properties. It's now turned into a huge operation. That's all from me. Rob and Polly will be here at 6.30. Join them then. Bye-bye.